Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level I gotta be honest guys, I wasn't really sure what to expect with this one. Going into it, the extent of my knowledge was, it's dark and everything is white lines, and I have to throw rocks around to see, apparently. Understandably, I was somewhat skeptical of how truly interesting a game that was made up of purely white lines and throwing rocks could be. Boy, am I happy to report how wrong I was. First of all, Stifled is definitely not just throwing rocks at white lines. It does in fact get you used to the idea of echolocation by starting you out in a normal environment. Your bed. Simply trying to locate and turn off the alarm. As you stand up to move around, a silent hill-like fog creeps in and suddenly you're pretty much blind. Until you make noise. The way you make noise in this game is especially important to the echolocation mechanic. Allow me to explain. Noises are made in a variety of ways. Some objects in the game make their own noise, say like a dripping tap or a grandfather clock. Other objects can be picked up and thrown. The most startling discovery I made, and one that changed the entire dynamic of the game for me though, was the excellent use of the microphone. At the beginning of the game you have to calibrate the microphone levels via being completely silent, whispering, and shouting. This helps to compensate somewhat for, say, the sound of my overworked heater in the basement keeping me warm on a chilly November morning. It does not compensate for the sound of dogs barking directly in my face, however, which was a whole other in-game trauma that I had to experience. That one wasn't the game's fault, though. So when there are no rocks or dripping taps, you gotta make noise. Like real noise. In the real world, not the virtual. Which I was not expecting. As someone who tends to play mostly single player experiences and lets my hyperactive co-host handle most of the in-game talking on live streams, this was an especially unique challenge for me. I found myself talking to myself as if I was doing a let's play, but only so I was able to keep viewing my surrounding environment. Oh, these are nice cupboards. I wonder what would happen if I use this button to click on the door. Oh, look at that cupboard opened up nice and easily. Oh, that's a shame there's nothing in there. Oh, is that a microwave? I wonder if there's anything over there. You get the idea. After a while, I started to get sick of the sound of my own voice. Luckily, the game had something in store for me to help with that problem. The story aspect of Stifled is mysterious, but not frustratingly so. Something about a missing child, a car crash, murdered parents, an orphanage. I won't spoil it for you, but needless to say, it's there and it runs deep, and quite horrifyingly so. The game will continuously throw you in and out of scenarios. It's almost like at some points you will remember something so horrifying that you suffer a kind of waking nightmare in which everything is 100% dark except for what you uncover with your echolocation techniques. However, these lines aren't just white. There are red ones, too. As you may have guessed by now, in these areas of the game you are not alone, far from it. The things in the dark that seek you out are frankly fucking horrifying. I only got to see a couple types, but the first one was enough to put me off my dinner. Think zombie prom night dumpster baby and you're about right on the right track. It is here that the game and sound balance really hit their stride. You need sound to see. Enemies do too. You make sound too close to them, and they can see you. And thus the end of your life comes, rather swiftly. So how to navigate this seemingly endless void of despair? Well, that's the game, isn't it? 
you can utilize things like rocks to move the creatures away from you, thus giving you a higher likelihood of slipping by unnoticed. You can crouch and creep your way around, only whispering once in a while so as not to alert anything in proxy uh, of your presence. There are many tricks and balances that you can do to survive in the world of Stifled, and I loved uncovering all of them. The way the game seemingly switches between real world and shadow world is effortless and definitely adds to the narrative credence of the game. The enemies do change as the story does and sometimes the well lit areas can be the scariest. It's just such a well thought out, wonderfully put together little horror gem. I did develop a technique for sound travel after getting sick of my voice. If I was fairly certain there were no zombie babies nearby, I would simply channel my inner Dale Cooper and yell, Hello! down a random hallway to see what appeared. I was quite enjoying myself, but anyone in the near vicinity of me in the real world must have thought I was a fucking lunatic. So there you have it. Stifled is a tightly packaged, actually scary, uniquely structured VR horror gem with a unique gameplay element and a decent story to boot. We all know it's a tough season for gaming choice right now with so many wonderful games on the horizon for VR. In the meantime, if you're looking for something to keep you busy and terrified until then, this is the one. Thanks for watching. Game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level